Believe it or not, they are arguing about Noah's Ark in the heartland tonight and whether it's right to use taxpayer dollars to build it, complete with animals. Not in anticipation of rain, but tourists. Lindsay Davis takes us inside this debate. Hollywood imagined Noah's Ark like this. But if developers in Kentucky can float their newest idea, this will be the site of a real-life replica. We'll be using about, oh, 160 acres to build the Ark Encounter. They're building it on a, well, biblical scale, using dimensions from Genesis chapter 6, 450 feet long. About 600 train cars can fit inside. The deck, longer than 35 tennis courts, taller than a three-story building. There will be a Tower of Babel and live animals, too. Why not two of every animal? Because we're talking about 10,000 pairs of animals. A $150 million lifeboat expected to create 900 jobs and attract 1.6 million visitors a year, $250 million in state revenue. The ark that's planned to be built on this 800-acre site has opened up the floodgates of controversy. Critics say it's a direct violation of separation between church and state. That's because Kentucky's governor promised the developers almost $40 million in tax breaks to build there. People of Kentucky didn't elect me governor to debate religion. They elected me governor to create jobs. But not everyone's on board. The government shouldn't be using its money to advance religion. That's what's unconstitutional about this. God actually embedded you! This combination, half theme park, half Sunday school, has been done before. If you read your Bible, then you're learning what God says to do. But not with state funding. The Creation Museum is 40 miles away from the Ark. In just a few years, it's had more than a million visitors. As for this old Ark, it has a new mission to help weather an economic storm. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, Grant County, Kentucky.